Today I want to show you a new knot that I've been using lately. Uh, well, I say it's a new knot. It's not really a new knot, but more of a variation on uh, by combining a couple of different knots. So the two knots that I like using for a, a rail tie down, uh, the initial anchor point for tying onto a trailer that has a rail on it uh, for securing loads uh, is going to be a backhand hitch or a spar hitch. Now the backhand hitch starts off by going around and then you cross over your standing in and then you go back, back around your rail in the opposite direction. If you leave it in this position here, a lot of climbers will know this one as the Munter hitch. And the great benefit to this one is that this wrap is holding the standing in, kind of locking it in place so that uh, it's taking a lot of the tension and, and holding that tension on it. And then you finish this one by tying a clove hitch here to the standing end of the rope. So we'll go ahead and finish this one off. And that is the backhand hitch. Now the problem with this one is that in high vibration, because you have a loose clove hitch tied on here, in high vibrations or if you get any movement in the line, that clove hitch can eventually try to work itself free. It's one of the reasons I don't particularly care for the clove hitch that much when it's not trapped. Now another knot that I like to use a lot is the spar hitch. This is one of my favorites uh, for tying anchor points. So it goes around, then you go around the rail again, the same direction. And this time you're going to cross over the standing end. You're going to lift up on the first wrap. And instead, this would be the spar hitch if you sent the end through. I always make this in the slip form by sending a bite through it. And then you snug the whole thing down. And that is the spar hitch. It's a very good knot because of the fact that the first wrap is holding the working end of the rope. And thereby uh, will not let it come undone so long as you have pressure on the standing end of the rope. So I thought I'd combine the two, and this is one that I've been using lately. So first we're going to start off much like we do the backhand hitch by going around, coming around the rail in the opposite direction. Only instead of tying the clove hitch here now, we're going to go underneath now of the standing in, and then we're going to lift up on the first wrap, bring it around, and set our slip in there. So this kind of combines the two knots. It's really a backhand hitch with a or a, a backhand hitch with a slip. So I, I suppose we could call it the slip backhand. So this kind of gives the uh, combines the benefits of both of those knots. So first of all, you have the uh, the loop here that's holding your load on uh, on your standing in, and you also have the locked slip, which prevents it from loosening on itself so i think again we'll call this one the slip backhand and i've been using it for a couple of months now and i found that it works extremely well i haven't had any issues whatsoever with this particular knot it really combines the two features of those two different knots and uh, it's one i like very much i hope you can try it out and see if you can give me some feedback on whether or not it works for you guys i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you in the next one